Birmingham's now going through its next chapter of growth. You're seeing an economic renaissance and a housing growth agenda which is really going to transform this city for the next 10 to 15 years. So when you see news such as HSBC and their decision to relocate a big part of their business up to the Midlands, together with all these other things that are happening, so we've got fantastic things in tech and value being created for the future. You couple that with the restaurant scene, it's as vibrant probably as it's ever been. I think leisure's good, the housing market people know, but actually compared to other regions, there's fantastic opportunities for quality of lifestyle. All you've got to do is walk around the city, you can see New Street Station, the developments here around Brindley Place. It is fantastic, but we still are uh, at the cusp of the next level of growth. Put those things together, there's every reason to think this is a good place to do business. Please join me in welcoming Winnie. I hope to take you through the journey Birmingham has gone through and some of the bold decisions it's made and the benefits it's faced within the city. In 2010, many of you will be familiar that the City Council, with its partners, launched the Big City Club. And I think it's a great achievement to show that how the region can work together when uh, uh, we really focus on what we're trying to achieve. We had to deliver New Street Station if we were going to be serious about being an international city. But we felt this was the time to plan. Because it's only in those times can you really set out bold visions. The consequence of having a very clear strategy, investment in infrastructure, has meant that we've actually been successful in securing the likes of Deutsche Bank, the success of securing HSBC Retail Headquarters Bank, the success of High Speed 2, and hopefully at the end of this journey we'll see that Birmingham actually goes back to being the second city that we're always proud of being. Thank you.